Yesterday, one of the primary contests was between Martin Dillon and Jason Atano. It was depicted as a referendum on embattled Brooklyn Democratic leader Vita Lopez. The candidates enlisted their supporters to campaign outside of polling places across Bushwick and Williamsburg, the 18th district. Dillon is better because if he had like 12 years in the Congress, Atano is new one. The is new, it's fresh, it's a new generation now. The most important issues that we're currently dealing with is, a, is about an absentee uh, representative. Um, we believe that we have one of the weakest representatives uh, in the Senate in our district at this moment. And not only in Albany, but here in the community. Knowing nothing about this, my instinct would be good to go for the upstart. You know, Danny was going to do a lot, you know. This other guy, um, Martin, Martin Dillon, I mean, he's been on here for many years and I haven't seen that one work that he had done. Hey, work for the community. This is uh, my, my concern. And I, I know him for many years. And I know that he's a good people. I work for the community. Dylan, I believe what he's throwing down, you know, I hope for the best, you know, everything falls for him. Old school is the best. Because old school knows everything from way back. And we're trying to hook up this stuff and bring it up before it goes down. Politics is politics. It doesn't matter what side you are, Democrat or Republican, it doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, uh, you see, you're doing something. You know, the public gonna see you doing, you gonna do something. Yeah. Very important, very important. Well, how are you gonna change it? He's the best. Is he the best? Yeah, he's the best. How are you gonna change it? You can change the best. Otano is more like the people, more city, involved with the community more. So, like, I see that for me, it's better. Martin Dillon remains the senator, beating Jason Otano 68% to 32%.